Hey you guys, welcome to Living It Country. In today's video, we're gonna be giving a updated home tour and then I'm gonna take you guys into the backyard and I'm gonna share with you guys our new build projects and give you guys a tour of that. So let's go ahead and come on inside. When you walk into our house, we kept our door area really simple. So I just have this really darling little stool. It's a vintage stool with some floral and then our little key holder over here. And then this little closet right here is traditionally a coat closet. We turned this into all of our kiddos' books, all of the games, and things like that in here so it's functional for our family. We have in the space over here, which we're not gonna share today, we have our office space, so we do a lot of our homeschooling in there, um, a lot of computer work in there, and run our businesses in there too. It's a little chaotic, so maybe in a video to come, we plan on doing lots of DIY projects once our other projects are done, and so we're gonna adjust that to really flow with our family too. Last year we did this ceiling up here, and I'm obsessed with it. We are gonna do the, the ceilings in our main living room too, which I'll share with you guys what that's looking like right now. And to be honest, I keep saying that I'm gonna wait for an updated home tour till our home is complete or till you know, it's perfectly cleaned, but that realistically is just not gonna happen. And so I hope you guys can enjoy what it's looking like right now at this stage of life. I'm gonna take you guys over to this black hutch area right here. And this is in our entryway as well. Very limited wall space. I got this at a garage sale with my mom before we moved into this house. And I love it. It's very distressed. I wanna say that I paid $100 for it or $80, something like that. Um, we keep all of our DVDs right in here. And then the DVDs that aren't in here, we have like a big, huge organizer for. And so we don't have storage in our living room and so that's the way that it makes it functional for our family so i just put a little decorative pillow right here to kind of style it make it feel uh, just welcoming we want when people come into our home to just feel very welcomed and um, right here i decided to put a ruggable because people walk in and not everybody uses you know the rug to outside to wipe their feet and they come in and then they use this to wipe their feet on and that's okay because I can throw it into the wash and it's also highly distressed. And so sometimes you look at it and you're like, is it dirty or is it just the style? Nobody knows. It's perfect. I'm gonna have you guys come right into this front room. This has been a space that through the last six years has changed so much and I really love that. So right now this space is kind of like a sitting room. It worked great for my son's birthday. We just brought in these beautiful sofas and I'll tell you guys a little bit about the sofas here in a bit. Um, but we've had this wall map up here for a long time of places that we've traveled to and um, it's just really fun to be able to learn about the different countries, teach our kiddos, and then now they can actually climb up on the little accent chairs right here and be able to look and ask questions and it's just a great little wood piece and it's actually a peel and stick. So we've had that for quite a few years now, maybe, maybe three or four, and um, it tells a story, so I really like it. And we decided to keep things pretty minimal in here, kind of keep it an oasis. And one thing that I love over here is our wood pictures. We got this done from a company called Pretty and Polka Dot. And I love these because they're actually reversible. So on the other side is a complete different photo. And I just think that's so neat. So if I'm feeling something different, I just turn them around and I love that look. We also have these in the hallway um, to our kids' room and bathroom and they are photos from a different year. So love that company, love the photos and love the frames. And then one of my um, favorite pieces in here, it's this rustic wood table. I get questions about this a lot. I just have it styled with some cute little pieces, a little bench, and this is one of those pieces that's gonna stay with me forever. I just absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about our sofa sets. These are from a brand called Cheetah Living, and they are kindly sponsoring today's video. 
We own the Esme sofa set. We own the Kina modular sofa set, which is in our living room. And this is the Keaton Performance Fabric three-seater sofa set with matching accent chairs. These are absolutely so cute. They have a wood base and we are just really, really loving them. In fact, we're having a hard time deciding if this set's gonna go into our party barn or if we're gonna move our Esme out there. So there's so many great options on their website. We really, really enjoy all of our cheetah living. Uh, sofas that we have in our home. The Keaton sofa is a mixed style of a coastal style as well as a neutral style, which works really, really well with our home. They have reversible back and seat cushions, all of them zip and they're machine washable covers, which is great if you're a pet owner or have kiddos running around at home. It's performance fabric, which is water and oil resistant. Like I said, it's easy to clean and great for families. This sofa is super soft and it's actually filled with feathers, which makes it really, really plush. If you're interested in Cheetah Living's fabrics, they also offer free fabric swatches before ordering. So you can make sure that you're ordering something that you absolutely love. Now, if you guys are not familiar with my channel and haven't seen our other Cheetah Living sofas, Cheetah makes stylish and comfortable furniture accessible to everyone with options for all budgets and you can discover an assortment of modern designs ranging from farmhouse like ours all the way to contemporary. If you wanna check out all of Cheetah Living's beautiful sofas on their website, you can go to the links down below and use the coupon code HOLLY15 at checkout, which will save you 15% off. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take you to the living room now where you guys can see my Kina modular sofa and what it's looking like now. So here's a look into our main area of our home. We have our living room space, and then we have our small dining room space over here, which is supposed to be like the breakfast nook. The room we were just in was traditionally the dining room, and we opted out of that for more family space. And then we have the kitchen over here. And when we first built our house, we were thrilled to have it a bar seating. And now that we go back, we wish that we would have made it um, lower and as well as an island, but that's okay. We are just so grateful for this home. I'm gonna start off in the kitchen though. I recently in the last year got these super cute bar stools, which I feel like go really, really well with the modern farmhouse feel. I still gotta get little things for the bottom so they don't scrape the flooring, but I think it's just such a darling touch. We used to have leather chairs and those were so comfortable, but this just gives it kind of just a beautiful touch with the iron on it and the wood accents in the house and just all those different things just kind of makes the space come to life. And we recently in the last year updated our, our faucet. We love this, it's gold, it's beautiful. And the reason why we did that was because our old faucet, it something broke on it. I don't even actually remember, but something broke. What was it? Oh, the filtration system broke on it. That's what it was. And we have it, um, we have a beautiful farmhouse sink. We got this from Wayfair when we built it. I'm gonna have you guys come in this way and share with you guys this space. Like I've said in other videos, we don't have a lot of wall space and we just have the very basics on our counter to minimize the clutter as best as we can. So we have things like our coffee maker, um, you know, our little station for our candle melting, our coffee, and then right now I just have bananas in there, but I like to have baked goods, you know, as much as I can. Doesn't always happen, but that's what it's looking like right now. Our, uh, our ice maker on our fridge broke, and so we have this little ice machine out on the counter and that works out great. It's nugget ice and I'm obsessed. I'm the type of person who the ice matters, the shape of the ice. I love Sonic drinks and we don't live near a Sonic. We're like an hour and a half, two hours away from one. So got my cutting boards, got my salts, got a cute little tea towel and just really the basics out. We're trying to focus the more we'll do DIY projects on here is more less decor, more things that create beauty with, you know, 
the DIYs. So that is the goal. I'm actually gonna take you because, to the ceiling because I feel like it's a great angle. You think so? So I'm gonna share with you guys what we did. Um, we hired out for this, but Jason cut through the roof and we added skylights and you can see what looks like four knives on the other side uh, coming out of our roof where another one will go. But we are going to be doing the same thing as we did in our entryway, which is doing um, that tongue and groove on the ceiling. And so we added skylights to add more natural light to our home because it gets super, super dark in here. So I'm gonna have you guys come along this way. Another fun DIY we plan on doing in the next year is actually making our kitchen cabinets, um, the wall come out a little bit. And so it doesn't look like somebody just randomly put cabinets there and so it feels a little bit more built in. So here's our dining room and we have loved this dining room table. It's light, it's very farmhousey, and we are thinking of getting a new one here soon because the leg is broken on it. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a circle shaped table so it fits this space better. We just got these darling little chairs and of course these rolling chairs on each side which everybody loves. I think the kids pushed it in a little too far so it's moving the whole table. Um, a beautiful little chandelier that in the last two years we replaced and keeping this feeling really fresh. I used to do a little um, centerpiece on our tables and I found that it doesn't help with everyday use, like it just gets moved. And so keeping that space free um, really helps. And so I don't know if you guys do the same, but I would love to know in the comment section down below. Now here's our little hallway and I've got my cute little boutique rugs, rugs. We have quite a few mixtures of boutique rugs, ruggables. We have our master bedroom in here, our pantry and our laundry room right over there. And I recently got this cute little hanger. It's really distressed and we use it to the max, which is how it, it bent broke. So I got to fix that, but we love this space. It's very clean, very, I mean, not literally clean, like there's some dust, but it's just bright and clean. Um, our DIY beams are still holding up great and um, just a simple space over here. I'm gonna take you guys to the living room now. And this is a space that we DIY'd quite a few years ago. We love it so much. In fact, I would love your guys' feedback. We thought about doing built-ins on each side um, or leaving the shelves, maybe painting them white instead of the wood since we do have quite a few beams. And I love this space. It's very open and inviting. I love styling these shelves. And um, one thing that I love doing is decorating with family photos. And I don't feel like, you know, like school photos, family photos. I feel like you don't see that a lot. I don't know. But I try to figure out ways to balance it to where it's not overly chaotic. But I'm all about, I'm all about that. So keeping things family friendly is very important. I'm gonna take you guys over here. This is a cute little table. It's not centered right now because we wanna make sure there's enough room for the kiddos to get out in the middle of the night when they need us. And this is storing a lot of my extra um, decorations that I don't have out right now. And that's what that's being used for. And then this we bring out uh, quite a bit. This is a fun little find. It's actually supposed to be a card holder and um, it was just my boy's birthday, and so we're holding all of his cards, and then we took Polaroid photos at his birthday party, and that way he can just enjoy seeing his special day. It was his first friend's birthday party, so he usually we usually do like a family birthday party and a family day, and so that way he can just enjoy seeing that, enjoy seeing the people that celebrated him, and um, it was really special to him, so that was really sweet. I forgot to mention, there was some furniture you guys might have seen, and that's all for the party barn, so that's not anything that's going to stay. I'm gonna take you guys into the hallway before I take you guys outside to see those projects. So this is our little hallway to our kids' room. We have this mirror right here, which honestly we utilize so, so much with that natural light coming in. I do my daughter's hair here all of the time. It's great. Um, we have my boys' room right over here. 
We have my girls room. It is really dark over here, so you guys will see the quality going down. That's okay though. Um, and then we have our bathroom. I call this bathroom space our Walmart bathroom. And it is because I purchased everything from Walmart when we built this. The mirror, the bathroom vanity, and the lights, and it's just the cutest space. These are our other pretty and polka dot photos. So those were from a year prior. I'm gonna take you guys just maybe a little sneak peek into the bathroom. You want me to turn on the light? Okay, so here's our Walmart bathroom. So pretty much everything's from Walmart. Walmart.com. Okay, I realized I never shared with you guys my sofa. I'm just gonna briefly show you guys that real quick before we head outside. Now here in our living room, we have our Kina modular sofa, and we typically have our ottoman right here, and then this ottoman goes over there, and it's just such a cozy space. We love the look of this. We love that it's machine washable, so when things spill on it, we can clean it up. Obviously, Jedi loves it too. It's a super cozy space, especially with our TV being over here. So definitely great. We actually bring out, I have a cute little table. It must be in the kiddos room, but we have our homeschooling table that's usually out here too. And it's just such a great family space. So I'm gonna take you guys outside. I'm gonna share with you guys a little tour of the projects. And then next week you're gonna actually see a tour of the tiny home. So I'm excited to share that. So let's go outside. Here's our tiny home back here that's under construction. We just uh, finished quite a few projects. We just got the plumbing installed. I'm gonna take you guys in briefly, but like I said earlier, um, we have a tiny home tour coming up next week, which I'll show you guys. So here's what it's looking like inside. A little sneak peek for those that have been so patient with this tour today. Pretty sure this is gonna be a long video and we're really excited about it. It's inspired by the Southern Living House Plan of the Beachside Bungalow. So I can't wait to tell you guys more about it. I'm gonna take you guys now to our next project right over here in our backyard. And you guys have seen lots of videos on this. We're really excited. So yesterday, we just had our iron doors installed. These doors we purchased from an online shop called Rustica. And I believe that they sell some of their items. I think they're sliding barn doors on homedepot.com. But we love these. They turned out absolutely gorgeous. They are heavy duty, man. These. These are great. We're really happy with the way it looks and the guy who installed them did such a phenomenal job. We were just thrilled, just thrilled with him. Do you remember his business name? Five Star Painting. Five Star Painting and Construction. And then here is our other ones. And here's a look of what the party barn's looking like. Not much has changed besides we installed our black windows. Those look phenomenal. And that's pretty much the update on this space. But I thought I'd give you guys a little sneak peek. We've got our built-ins we're gonna be working on here in the next few months and just a really cool space. We have electrical going in um, in about a week and a half for the tiny home and in the party barn. And so once we get that all in, we can start on a lot of the projects inside here. So we just have to time things, you know, well, and sometimes that's not why we upload weekly. So a little update for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tour and a little tour of each of our projects. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.